What's going on guys? My name is Jessica. I just got back from up north about a week ago-ish. It was a ton of fun. I got to see my family, hung out with my best friend. We went to this cute little vineyard and got Michigan glasses. Anyways, recently a few of my friends have been coming to me about problems that they're having in their relationships. Well, let me tell you, I am 110% no stranger to heartbreak. I have been through a lot and almost all of my life lessons has come from people that haven't treated me well. Was I perfect in my last relationships? <laughs> yes. No, absolutely not. There are so many things I wish I could have gone back and changed. However, the way that those relationships happened led me to the way I am now. With that said, I am going to set up a specific scenario because this is the one that's been presented to me most often. I don't understand your relationship, but I do understand how it feels to be on the other side of this. So you messed up. You messed up really bad. You might have lost her. This could be the end. You need to do whatever you can and woo her and bring her back into your life. And that's okay. That is probably exactly what you would feel after you really screw something up with somebody you care about. But let me ask you a couple of questions. Is what you're feeling really about her or is it about you? Are you in love with them? Or are you in love with the way they loved you? Do you really wanna make them happy? Or is this about bringing happiness back to yourself? I don't know what it is that you did. I'm not saying that you don't actually care for this person. I am saying though that you might just love yourself a little more. A lot of people go into relationships with the mindset of what can I get from this relationship as opposed to what can I give? Which is why when this person is suddenly out of their lives, they're like, Ah, I'm not getting that source of happiness. I'm not getting these things anymore. So I'll have my friends calling me and being like, Jessica, what do I do? How do I get her back? And because I don't know the gravity of the situation, this is the advice that I was able to give. If you haven't already, you need to apologize. But not just regular apologizing. What I have noticed with a lot of my friends who have messed up or even within my past relationship, the person that made the mistake will tend to apologize but also throw their little excuse in there. I'm sorry, I just missed you so much. Or I'm sorry, it was because. That is just not right. That puts you in the position of being the victim. So you messed up and now you're making them feel bad about it? Well, that doesn't even make sense. You need to give them space. Because chances are, they probably want it right now. And actually, give her space. Do not put her in a timetable for when you think that she needs to be ready. That is not how this works. That is not giving her space. And that is very selfish of you. And do not be going around planning little thoughts in her head, reminiscing on all the good times. You remember when we pranced around the park and sang to the birds? Don't do that. Once again, that is a form of guilting her and making her feel bad. If it's about her, you need to allow her to take this time to herself, form her own thoughts and decisions, and figure things out from there. But Jessica, if I do this, I could risk losing her. Yeah, you're right. Maybe you will lose her. And I understand you could be sitting there going, but you don't understand what we have. You don't understand how it is when we're together. But that is showing her real love. Being selfless through this process. Once again, I don't know your situation. I don't know how long you've been dating. I don't know how old you are, how old they are, what the whole scenario is. But chances are, this is not either of your first rodeo. So what that means for your relationship is that you have to know that this is not just about you. This is not just a matter of her just forgiving your mistakes. Most likely she's had her heart broken before many other times. It's not just like, oh, I don't forgive you. I'm just giving up on us. It's about everything leading up to this point. It's about their heart needing to heal. It is an exhausting process to have to build up your wall and then you tear it down, you finally let somebody in, only to have to build that wall back up again. What she wants to be shown more than anything is that you care for her heart and not just about making yourself temporarily feel better. If you love her the way that you might think you do, 
you would be okay with these things happening. Look, you can call me out, you can say, Jessica, you're wrong. Like, I know I could be wrong. This is just my perception and what I like to think that love should be about. That's the kind of love I am looking for. That is all I have to say temporarily about this topic. That was just a small part of a much larger topic that I probably will cover in future videos. And I wasn't saying those things out of a place of arrogance. I was saying those things out of a place of love and understanding. My name is Jessica. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm still kind of new to this. I'll have a new video up for you next Wednesday. Have a very blessed day. Okay, bye!